All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. Thank you for taking time out of your day to check the video out. We are talking about PlayStation at Summer Game Fest. Summer Game Fest is happening very soon, and we do know that Sony is going to be a part of the show. The question is, what can we expect Sony to bring to Jeff Keighley's show? And so what I thought we would do is go over the games that are most likely to actually show up. Now, I do want to make it very clear that while I have a list of games I'm going to be going over, keep in mind if just one of these games shows up, that would be pretty surprising and certainly uh, welcome. But do not interpret this list as these are the games that are going to show up because that's absolutely not going to happen. Uh, keep that in mind. And there's also the possibility that none of these games could show up, so I will recommend going into Summer Game Fest with low expectations. But again, we do know Sony will be there, and naturally people are going to be asking what games are going to show up. So before we dive into it, be sure to hit that like button if you end up enjoying the video, and hit that subscribe button as well if you're new here to the channel. Now, the first game I'm going to start out with is the most obvious one, that being Spider-Man 2. Now, yes, we did just get a 10 minute gameplay demo for Spider-Man 2, but a lot of people noticed that when we got this demo during the PlayStation Showcase, it was lacking something very important, that being a release date. I think a lot of people were expecting to get a release date, but Insomniac, they came out not too long after that demo and said they plan to update us on that soon. And they also confirmed that the reason why they didn't give a release date is because they haven't quite nailed it down yet. Now, is it possible that Insomniac has nailed down that release date between uh, May 24th, which is when the PlayStation Showcase happened, and June 8th, which is when Summer Game Fest is going to happen? Yeah, possibly. Or it could be that maybe they were saving it for Summer Game Fest, but there certainly are some people thinking there's a chance Spider-Man 2 will show up at Summer Game Fest with another trailer and a release date attached to it. And they're going to announce like the collector's edition, something along those lines. Personally, I don't think that's going to happen. I just get this feeling that if they did actually have a release date and they were ready to announce pre-orders and, um, you know, the collector's edition and all that stuff, they would have done it at the showcase. I just don't see it showing up at Summer Game Fest, but there is always a chance it could. Now, the next game in line here is Stellar Blade. This is a game that a lot of people were surprised didn't show up at the PlayStation Showcase. Uh, the Stellar Blade release date is currently set for some time in 2023 with PlayStation announcing the launch window with a new trailer in a state of play in 2022. So yeah, the last time we heard from Stellar Blade was last year and they did attach a 2023 release year um, to it but we haven't heard anything about it since. And this is a game, as I said, that a lot of people were looking forward to seeing at the PlayStation Showcase, but it never turned up. So I do think Stellar Blade is actually one of the games that is most likely to be part of Summer Game Fest. I could absolutely see us getting a new Stellar Blade trailer and an actual release date attached to it. There's always the chance that the game could get delayed out of 2023 and it ends up becoming a 2024 game but just considering how long it's been since we've heard anything about the game yeah i think this is a front runner for a playstation title that could show up at summer game fest and i know that a lot of people are hoping it will next up we have uh, death stranding 2 or as it's being called ds2 and to me this is another game that is highly likely to show up at Summer Game Fest simply for the fact that we know Hideo Kojima and Jeff Keighley are very good friends and Jeff Keighley seemingly has made it a point to ensure that Hideo Kojima is part of every show he does. Now Death Stranding 2 was officially revealed at Jeff Keighley's last show that being the Game Awards 2022 and we got the reveal trailer which was an awesome trailer. That is certainly plenty of time for Hideo Kojima to create another trailer to bring to Jeff Keighley's Summer Game Fest. Um, when it comes to the release date of Death Stranding 2, it's expected sometime in 2024 at the earliest, but it could potentially be a 2025 game. So, well, I do think it's very likely Hideo Kojima will actually show up 
at Summer Game Fest. I also wouldn't be very surprised if Death Stranding 2 isn't what he brings to the show. Um, I'm hopeful that he will because I would love to see more Death Stranding 2. But yeah, out of the games that we are talking about here, I do think Death Stranding is, I don't want to say like a front runner, but I do think it is more likely than some of the other games that we're talking about here. Next up on the list, Silent Hill 2 Remake. This is another game that was announced in 2022. It was announced in October of last year. And, you know, Konami made a pretty big deal about it. Sony made a big deal about it, saying it's a PlayStation 5 exclusive or console exclusive anyway. Uh, but since then, we haven't really heard anything about Silent Hill 2 Remake. We haven't gotten any trailers. We haven't gotten a release window. The last thing we heard was from uh, Bloober Team's CEO, where he said Silent Hill 2 is technically ready. It doesn't mean the game is finished, but that they are getting close. And then he continued by saying, however, the issue of the release schedule lies with our partners, that being Konami and Sony. Uh, what the promotion will look like and when the title will debut is not directly in our hands. Now, he then went on the CEO of Blooper Team, that is, to retract this. I don't think he was supposed to say this. I don't think he was supposed to reveal this information, but it's not the most surprising. Obviously, Sony and Konami want to be very strategic about when they're going to release Silent Hill 2 Remake. And considering it has been a while since we've you know, gotten a proper update on this game, it wouldn't be entirely shocking to see a Silent Hill 2 remake trailer and possibly even get a release date. Now, I do want to add something to this. This is Jeff Keighley's show. Jeff Keighley has had some serious animosity with Konami in the past. And when you look at the Summer Game Fest partner lineup for 2023, Konami is not listed. However, we do need to keep in mind that PlayStation is listed and PlayStation has the marketing rights to Silent Hill 2 Remake. So, yeah, I just, again, to me, it's kind of a 50-50 thing. I think it's more unlikely that it will show up here, but, you know, I do think that there is at least a decent chance and possibility that it could end up uh, being part of the show. Now, moving on from that, we have Rise of the Ronin, yet another game that was revealed for the first time in 2022, and it has a 2024 release year attached to it, but we haven't seen or heard anything of this game since it was revealed during a state of play last year. And so this is yet another game uh, that is going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. It's coming from Team Ninja, uh, and you know they're partnered with Sony here. This is another title that could possibly show up at summer game fest now there's really no indication that it will just other than the fact that we know sony's going to be part of the show and this is an exclusive game that is scheduled for 2024 so you know for me this is another one where it's 50 50 i wouldn't be at all surprised if it doesn't show up but it would also make sense if we got a new rise of the ronin trailer now the final game that i want to move on to here and this one is certainly interesting and i think there are actually quite a few people expecting that this game will show up at summer game fest that being final fantasy 7 rebirth now the reason why a lot of people are expecting this is because not only is this yet another game that people thought maybe would show up at the playstation showcase but more importantly the official final fantasy 7 uh, twitter account has been posting daily updates on the game basically doing developer q a's and it's kind of the first time we're hearing them talk about this game in any meaningful way and people have discovered that when we reach the seventh day or the seventh update it's actually going to happen on june 8th the day of summer game fest a lot of people now firmly believe that oh well clearly square enix is bringing final fantasy 7 rebirth to summer game fest and they're going to have a new trailer now i will admit that seeing them just kind of come out of nowhere and start talking about this game again right before Summer Game Fest and giving these updates where the seventh update lands on the day of the show, I admit it, it does make me think that, yeah, okay, I think the chances of us getting an update on this game at Summer Game Fest have certainly increased. But again, I don't want to get anybody's expectations high and have them go into the show expecting anything, but I I will say that with when it comes to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, given the circumstances, I think it, it there is a higher chance. It's also worth noting that uh, when we did get the first trailer for this game, it is slated for winter 
Uh, so that means it could come late 2023 or more likely early 2024. So it showing up at Summer Game Fest, you know, it would kind of line up. But those are pretty much all of the PlayStation games that, again, could possibly show up at Summer Game Fest. Is it possible that Sony uh, could just show up with like a trailer for their upcoming Twisted Metal TV series and that's it? Or another Gran Turismo movie trailer and that's it? Yes, this is why I want to encourage everybody to just keep in mind these are the games that people are expecting to get updates on in you know the coming weeks and months or at least sometime relatively soon. And Summer Game Fest would be a great spot for any of these games to show up, but we you know we don't want to go in with very high expectations so that way we're not let down if none of these games show up. So I just kind of wanted to lay this out for you. Uh, some people were asking me to you know talk about what games are most likely to show up. And I have seen quite a few people expecting Sony to have a big presence at Summer Game Fest because, you know, a lot of people felt that the showcase was lacking in terms of, um, you know, updates on games that we were expecting to, to hear about. So at this point, I want you guys to leave your thoughts down in the comments below and let me know out of the games I listed, the game that you think is most likely to show up or the game that you are most hopeful will show up. Uh, and maybe there's a game that I forgot to list here that you would like to put on here. So yeah, leave your thoughts down below. Again, leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon and feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.